Hi, Miss Roxanne here, and welcome to the Reading Corner. Today, we're going to talk about capitalization. When should you capitalize things, and when is it not necessary? So, have a piece of paper and a pencil ready. Put your name on it and your uh, your cottage and your teacher, Miss Lockwood's name. We're going to watch a video. We're going to do the quiz, and then I have an assignment that we're going to work on. So with that being said, let's get started. Hey there, and welcome to Robot Feud. Thank you, thank you. Our contestants today are Moby and Friends and the Cyclo family. So, without further ado, let's play the feud! We've asked 100 English teachers an important question and put their top six answers on the board. According to the rules of grammar, when should you use capitalization? Can I see at the beginning of a sentence? That's right, Cycloid X23. You should capitalize the first letter of every sentence you write. But the number one answer is still up there, Moby. Do we have proper nouns? Nailed it. For those of you at home who don't know, a proper noun is a name for a particular person, place, or thing. Rita. San Francisco and Chevrolet are all proper nouns and should always be capitalized. On the other hand, words like girl, city, and car are common nouns. They're generic names for people, places, and things and aren't capitalized. Now, Moby, do you want to play or do you want to pass? They're going to play, ladies and gentlemen. Four answers left, Moby's team. Crusher, it's your turn. According to 100 English teachers, when should you use capital letters? Do I see pronouns? Oh, crusher, I'm sorry. Pronouns take the place of nouns. They're words like he, she, they, you, him, me, her, and them. The only pronoun that gets capitalized is the word I. The rest of them all use lowercase letters. Bruiser, it's up to you. When should you use capital letters? Okay, do we have book titles? You got it, Bruiser. You should always capitalize the key words in the titles of works like books, movies, TV shows, plays, and songs. You'll notice that particles like the words the and a uh, and prepositions like on or of aren't usually capitalized in titles unless they come at the start of the title. Three answers are still up on the board, little Jimmy. It's your turn. Do we have days, months, and holidays? Good one, little Jimmy. Days of the week and months of the year should always be capitalized. The names of holidays should always be capitalized, too. Klangbot, two answers left. Oh, do we have... People's titles? You got it, Kleinbot. A person's title is capitalized when it comes immediately before their name, or when it's used in a direct address, whereas you don't capitalize titles that follow or replace a person's name, because in those cases, the titles are just common nouns. Moby, it all comes down to you. Your team can win 10,000 Energon cubes, a lifetime supply of rice a robot, and the sort of exciting home version of a robot feud if you only give the right answer. If not, the cycloids have a chance to steal the game. All right, capital letters. We're looking for reasons you would use capital letters. Do we have nationalities, languages, and religions? Yes, we do. Languages, like Japanese, nationalities, like Australian, and religions, like Islam, all get capitalized. Congratulations, Moby and friends. If 
if you were playing along at home, don't forget that these were only our top six answers. There are a bunch of other capitalization rules which you can find in any grammar book. Thanks for tuning in and see you next week on another exciting edition of Robot Feud. This is Tim reminding you to get your pets spayed and or neutered. Bye-bye. All right, let's do this quiz. <clears throat> Which of these is a proper noun? Doctor, uncle, Tim, or robot? What is a, which one of these is a proper noun? Tim, because it's his name. Very good. Which of these is a common noun? Grow, brain pop, Coca-Cola, or truck? Right, because it's not saying what kind of truck. It is a thing, so it's a noun, but it's not like a Chevy. Okay. When should the word telephone be capitalized? Choose the best answer. When it appears at the, at the beginning of a sentence, it should always be capitalized. When it appears after a proper noun, or it should never be capitalized. So is it when it appears at the beginning of a sentence? Right. Because telephone on its own may be a thing, but it's not proper, right? Which of these pronouns should always be capitalized? Me, I, you, or him? B, I. I is always capitalized. Which of these book titles uses correct capitalization? The Catcher in the Rye, The Catcher in the Rye, The Catcher in the Rye, or The Catcher in the Rye? What do you think? So do you think it's the first one? Right. Didn't trip you up, did it? Which of these sentences uses correct capitalization? My teacher's name is Mrs. Kelly. My teacher's B. My teacher's name is Mrs. Kelly. Hmm. My teacher's name is Mrs. Keller. Kelly. So do you think it's this one? D? Uh-uh. What about B? Yes. When should the word apple be capitalized? When it refers to the ingredient in a pie? When it refers to a drink like cider or juice? When it refers to something that has spoiled or when it refers to a product like apple? What do you think? You think it's when it's a product? Right, good job. I could feel you telling me the answer. What's the main difference between common nouns and proper nouns? Common nouns come at the beginning of a sentence. Proper nouns can appear anywhere. Common nouns are, ger are generic words. Proper nouns are more spe specific. Common nouns, C, are usually capitalized. Proper nouns aren't. Or is it common nouns describe mostly verbs, proper nouns describe mostly adverbs? Hmm, well I need your help on this one. Hmm, common nouns are generic words, proper nouns are more specific. What do you think about that one? Yes, thanks for the help. All right, number nine. Which of the following words is usually spelled with lowercase letters? Sunday, Easter, morning, or April? I know you're telling me C right now. That's right. Which of these sentences uses correct capitalization? I watched the wind in willows on Friday with Grandma Alice. I watched the wind in the willows 
Which one do you think it is? Do you think it's D? Mm, I think there's a problem there because the I is not capitalized. So it can't be that one. All right. I watched The Wind in the Willows on Friday with Grandma Alice. Mm, there's a problem with that because days of the week should always be capitalized, right? Okay, so let's look at this one. I know you're telling me A, right? Hooray, good job. Okay, not a bad, not a bad day's work. So now we're gonna go to fixing some capitalization. So have that piece of paper ready and that pencil, and I'll give you plenty of time to be able to um, write down the sentence in the correct manner, okay? So here we go. Rewrite the sentence below with the correct way to capitalize. Capitalization, the first word in the center, sentence, proper names of people, places, and products, main words in titles and days, months and holidays. Whoa, it even comes with great um, advice for you. So let me see, how many are there? Oh, there's eight. So please go ahead and uh, freeze it staff so that they can write all six of these uh, sentences down. Go ahead and work on uh, capitalizing those all correctly. And when you come back, I'll spin it up for the last two. When you're all finished with the last two, and when you come back again, then we'll go through the answers together. So go ahead and stop it now, please. All right, you should be back, and hopefully you got those sentences capitalized correctly. Here's your last two. Go ahead and stop it now. All right, so you should be back now. Now let's look at your answers and let's see how we did today. So number one, we should be capitalized. Bought my sister Nike sandals. So Nike is a brand, so we capitalize that from Canada and that is a place, so that is capitalized. And always a period on the end. All right, number two, in the city of Chicago, the city of Chicago is hosting a Christmas festival in December. So the, of course, and city of, and then Chicago, because it's a, it's a place, is hosting a Christmas, which is a holiday. Remember in the video, it said holidays too get, get uh, capitalized. And then December, because it is a date, time, month, that is also correct, uh, capitalized, and of course a period on the end. All right, so the third one, I learned about President Lincoln in a book called Born to Lead. Let's see how you did. I is capitalized, President is capitalized, and so is Lincoln, and Born and Lead, because that's the name of a book. All right, my favorite singer, number four, Katy, Katy Perry will sing Fireworks this Saturday. So you should have capitalized the M for my, for my Katy Perry, because that's her name, both the K and the P capitalized. Uh, Fireworks is the name of a song. And Saturday, because it's a date, remember date, dates, months, those are always capitalized. All right, number five. My family visits California to hear the band Maroon 5 in October. So my, always the beginning of a, of a sentence starts with a capitalized uh, word. Uh, California is a state, so we gotta capitalize that. Maroon 5 is a band, so we wanna go ahead and capitalize Maroon, uh, M. And October is another month, and those are always capitalized as well. All right, number six, the I in N is capitalized. And the G for Gatorade 
is capitalized and the month is capitalized. All right, number seven. For Thanksgiving, we visit my grandparents in New Mexico. Four is capitalized. Thanksgiving, it's a holiday, it's capitalized. And because it doesn't say Grandma Ann or Grandpa Joe, Grandpa's not, that, that's not capitalized, but where they live in New Mexico is. In the last one, in January, Mayor Henderson will be giving away a new Toyota Camry. Now see, they, they said exactly what the vehicle is. They said the make and the model. So those are always capitalized. And because um, Henderson uh, is prefaced by who he is, the mayor, that is also capitalized. So you did really good. Go ahead and turn in that work so that you can get credit and see how your grading is going. And I hope to see you soon.